Turn on the lights in the studio. I'm glad that still works. The Google Nest smart speakers and the Google Nest Hub smart displays that you have in your home are gonna get a version of Google's AI assistant, Gemini. Now this was announced by Google during their Made by Google event on August 20th, and it's probably the most exciting news we've had in years from Google. That's because we're being told that our existing speakers can be plugged back in, dusted off, and used again with a brand new shiny AI voice assistant that's capable of so much more than we've been used to. So let me explain how this will happen, what you can expect from Gemini for home, and how some of you will probably be waiting a while. Plus, I'll unveil how Google's going to launch a new smart speaker to go with all of this very soon. Gemini for Home is the name of the AI assistant that Google says has access to their most powerful AI models today. It's gonna to be able to use inference and Google's ridiculous search capabilities to make your interactions feel easier. I think we've all experienced asking the Google Assistant to control something in our homes and having it not recognize what we're asking. Make it bright in the studio. This new model will be able to handle complex commands like turn off the lights everywhere except my bedroom. I've demonstrated this in the past on the channel using Gemini on my phone, but now that AI will be embedded in your smart speakers and displays. I think just as important is that many of the core features that we use with these are being improved too. What this means for you is having to remember less to use your smart home. That's crucial to the success of a voice assistant, but it's not all you're getting. Something that you might be wondering about is how you will start this conversation with the new Gemini for Home. Now the good news is you're gonna start it in exactly the same way. The experience isn't changing that way. However, there is a new conversational mode where you only have to use that wake word a single time and then you can have a conversation. This is called Gemini Live. And again, it's kind of borrowing from features that we've seen available on phones, but it is essentially a mode that allows you to continue that conversation with the AI assistant through these speakers and displays. Now, one of the best examples of how this could help you is in personalized troubleshooting. I think we've all been there with a device or a piece of equipment that we don't necessarily fully understand. And using this Gemini Live feature, we would be able to talk through the situation and get live responses as we work. The only difference for you is that you'll use the wake words and then you'll say, let's chat immediately after. <sighs> Unfortunately, not everything is gonna be perfect. And let's be honest, it's Google. The first drawback is that it sounds like there will be paid versions of Gemini for home. We don't know what that means yet, but Google is telling us that they will share more details about that soon. They've also mentioned that this will begin in early access in October, and I think we all have to assume that that primarily means in the USA first, if not only there, and it'll be a fairly slow rollout. That's what we've seen with Google's early access features in the past, and you know, I'm here in Canada, I have managed to get access to some of those in the past, but we know these can take a very long time and they can be restricted. So lots of you might have a long wait ahead of you. I'm also not hearing anything that will speed up the responses for us. And that's always been one of the biggest problems with voice control on any smart speaker or display. Gemini will definitely have more resources behind it to hopefully speed up processing time, but we still have all the travel time back and forth that has to happen when you ask a voice assistant a question because it's all based on cloud services. And without hardware that has some onboard power, local processing power, we're not gonna really see these response times improve. Another drawback for you might be that Google teased the upcoming launch of a new smart speaker. It basically looks like a HomePod mini with the ring being on the bottom. Now sadly, no details on a launch date, but I think this one's been ready to go for a while as Google long ago filed with the FCC for a new speaker-like device. I expect it this year. 
all of what I just said, you know, I can't know that for sure, okay? And I don't know if Google is hiding some smart speaker upgrade behind all of this, and we'll be blown away later in 2025 or early 2026, but that's the way it's gonna roll out for you over these next few months. So you're gonna want to watch inside of the Google Home app, make sure that you've signed up for their early access program there. For now, you might wanna see some of those capabilities that you'll get with Gemini. And when I first started seeing this on my phone, I wanted to show you guys how good of an experience this was. You can check out that video right there where I'll show you some of the commands that you'll be able to use with your smart home. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, live smart.